Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. That's our 2014. It's the Subaru. It's the Outback. It's got the big 2.5. It's time to start Project Subaru. Because we're going to name it. Subframes rotted, oil pans rotted. I think both lower ball joints are loose. It's got a bunch of other little things he wants done, but the main big project is replacing the subframe or the engine cradle because it's got big rot wolves through it and it failed inspection for it. So let's get started. All right, so done this before we put it on a lift. We need to make sure the steering wheel is not going to twirl around on us. So we'll shove the seat mount through it. And these Subarus, you gotta drop the steering rack with the frame, so you gotta keep the steering wheel from going crazy. We're gonna pull the air intake tube off here. We need to be able to stick a engine support across these struts here and hold the engine up because we need to suspend the engine while we remove the cradle. And I think we can hook onto it back here at the back of the transmission. Let's see, we've got a hose down on this side. Part of the PCB will unhook it. And then we've got a clip right here. Cost extra. That's what you do with those. And you just pretend no one's looking and go like that. All right, we'll just set this uh, to the side. See, so they had this little holder right here. I was hoping. It looks like it's strong enough that we can just get a chain through it. Yeah, except the bolt of the train. Yeah, I ain't going anywhere. Um, I don't think I worry about those if it's too close to the throttle body. Maybe, just to be on the safe side, safety first, we will uh, <clears throat> just set the throttle body to the side. I just don't want to, you know, chain come hit it and then break the plastic intake here so we'll get a 10 mil it's got a couple coolant hoses we'll unhook the connector and then we'll just kind of set that over there now i think we're okay We'll be able to hook a chain or a strap, whatever we're gonna hook there. There's another hook here too. But I think this is pretty centralized. I think before we do that though, our engine mount, I guess I guess you would call them training mounts, or there's one there. And then there's one over here. So I think we'll zip those off, then we'll stick our engine support here. Hold it there. Might have to take this, uh, let's take this plastic off the front so we have a spot to put our mount up there. The engine support we have has a bar that comes forward that you need to set up here on the core support. But we can't set it on the plastic so we need to move some stuff. We can set it on this plastic. Of course, the port's right directly underneath it. I don't, I don't think it'll cause any damage just setting it on that. Just gotta be careful we don't want to kick back and hit the radiator. This is the passenger side engine mount. There, right there, and then there should be one hiding over here. Gonna have to sneak down through this hose. That should be perfect. Dropped it where we can't find it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I found it. Stick stuff in a magnet tray. Oh, let's see, so that's a rear mount. There is a front mount here. There's not a lot really to hold these babies in. Um, I don't know if I find this front mount, if we just take the bolt out of it, or if we just unbolt it from the subframe, the whole mount. I'm not real sure. So I took a bolt. I think we're gonna just take the nut off that bolt here. We can get down in here on this front mount and see if that bolt comes loose. Oh, back just a little bit here. Come on, baby. Oh, need a bit of an extension, about an inch. Story of my life. Let's see if this works. 
fans right smack in the way. Alright, so we'll give that on just a little. We'll give it the old reach around here. I don't know how much weight is on the front of this. I wouldn't suspect a whole lot. Let me see if I can hit it from this side. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. Give that bolt a little twirl. Goes through aluminum and a rubber bushing, so it would be bad. Okay, it's got a little bit of weight on it. You see how the engine just dropped slightly. The good news is the bolt is loose. It's not frozen in the bracket. Can't be pulled by hand, so what do we know? What do you know, what do you say? I say we put a little bit of weight, take a little bit of weight off from it. Let's install our engine support. If we can lift that up where that's kind of neutralized, then we can pull the bolt out and we should be able to go underneath and unhook all the rusty jiggly bits and drop it on the ground, I guess. Okay, let's see. This thing's kind of universal. See, it's not an official Subaru engine support. It works pretty well on most things. We got her set on there, I think, the best we could. We're going to put a little bit of tension on it. Let's see what happens here, see if anything snaps, bends, or breaks. We've got it setting up on some 2x4s to give it some clearance where it sticks out over the fender there. We've got our hook directly into the other hook. The sides up on the core support. It's not really being utilized at this point. Something should be moving here and or bending. All right, I just heard something move. Let me grab a light. This bolt loose now. No, sir. Not easily loose, anyways. Everything seems kind of wiggly. Give her a few more what fours. Looks like it's loose on those mounts. I believe so. Let me see what happens up here. Let me see if I can just knock that through. Probably could the uh, Actually, let me just stick the impact back on it. Just gotta get her to go. We get a wrench. I sort of really want to stick my hands down there because if it. I don't know what it's gonna do when it cuts loose. It'll be a surprise. Surprise! It didn't do anything. I think it did pop up a little bit though. Let's tighten up some more. I just want to know that it's being suspended. You're gonna get flying lessons light. It looks like I can see the transmission coming up. We gotta be good. Yeah, actually we're up off that stud, yeah. The front one's completely out. And the rear, or this mount on this side. Oh, she's wiggly. Oh, yeah. Stuff looks tight and under tension, baby. Just keep it coming. Engine's loose. We're up out of both mounts. We're up out of the front mount completely. I would like to have it out of this mount completely also. 
just because that's going to make putting the subframe in easier. That way we don't have to line up that stud. Anyhow, that uh, thread there has been pretty good. Looks sketchy. What could go wrong, huh? We're almost out of that stud. We're almost out of that stud. We're completely out of the front. I say we're good. It's got some bend to it. And I'm wondering. Okay. Hardly has any pressure on the front, so it's not, not rocking. It's not doing any funny business. Um, let's, uh, one little bit of precaution. I was going to use some precaution, but I think we'll live life, take chances. Let me get a pair of pliers. Worst case scenario, engine transmission falls out on your head. What's the worst that can happen? We need to unhook our power steering line. Set that in there. Hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. That may be a pop there. Whoa, whoa, I wasn't ready for that, dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. Had my diaper ready. Put that to the side. Whoa. And then pressure line comes up here to the pump. So that are 14 now from down there. Here's a banjo type fitting. I don't want to get it on the belt. I don't know if it's going to peep or not. Nope. Take the bolt. Take the washers. We're gonna put that right back on there. We're gonna stick that right back on the pump. So we'll get a bunch of junk in that. Not that we're gonna get up here with junk flying around. And then our power steering hoses are loose, so our whole rack can come out all of one big jumbo piece. Oh, now it's peeing all over the catalytic converter. Just wanna kind of stuff them down there so we can get them from underneath. Oh, what a mess, dude. Well, oh, this guy's a hack. Oh well, you're gonna have to get past it. And then, oh, it's, a, it's gonna smoke. I think that should be it for up here, folks. Um, I don't think I've seen anything else that we had to unhook. Engine's unhooked, power steering lines are unhooked. Everything else should say, we gotta go down and get the steering shaft. And then the worst part of the whole job, we gotta try to get the exhaust off without snapping that in half. The good news is we need to remove the exhaust anyways because we got to do the oil pan because the oil pan's all rotted out or soon to be rotted through to reveal its inside contents we'll take the whole shebang off here if we can i spray a little panther pee on them to make sure the nut comes off perfectly <laughs> Usually the studs come out of these, which I don't care if they probably come off as long as they come off. The nut came off that one. That's because the WD-40 works. Oh, right in the eye. Let's see. What happened to this one? Whole stud came out, dropped right in my shirt. So there's three, three out of six. See what happens over here. One nut. One stud. One left. Somebody's always got to be that mother lover. It's always the last one. It's the nicest looking one too. Why don't we put a little heat on that? So 
we don't get stupid with it. Yeah, boy. Woo, right in my freaking pocket. Hallelujah, she's hot. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Woo, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. It wasn't really hot, folks. Just uh, didn't take me long to look at it. Oh, hey, 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 hey. All right, so that's off. I'll show you the rest of the problem. The problem is everything's so rotten. That's the problem. Especially this joint. We don't want to do a lot of flexing um oh we got to take one bolt out up here on this hanger the hangers already broke off the rear it's gonna be like a three-man job let's get this one undone and then we'll get three men out here two men and a woman or one man and a woman and a girl and see what we can do to drop this down without breaking it in half oh you're crusty you're a crusty one. Oh, get the rhythm. Ah, freaking power stand fluid just dripped right in my face. I want to snap it off. Let's see what it's doing. Not doing anything because it's round. What's smaller than 14? Uh, 13. <laughs> All right, hang on, let's see. I don't want to break that off. So I'm not get an extension to reduce our power. And then we're gonna get a flame to increase our power. And then we're gonna get a cape. We'll blindly go up in here. Anything turned red yet? Not yet. This thing off. What? Let's get this out all the way. The bracket here has got a hook on it. It's going to catch it. Won't catch the nut, but or the bolt. I will. <laughs> yeah, got it. That's how we remove this hanger. I can weld that back on for them. Then there's one here on the back, and that's it. That's the only thing holding this whole show together. And when we let it down, I just don't want it to go like that. I want to give it one of those, you know. Get our stand up under the muffler. Right about there. Should work. And then we'll pull this rear hanger off here. Can't see. No, but I try seeing. We're close. Okay. We're free. Freedom! Let it down just a little bit just to verify. Yes, ma'am. All right, she's going to want to break right in the middle. Pray for me. You got it done? This job? <laughs> what do you think your gym was? That's why I'm asking. No, not even close. I was thinking about coming in for some tea and maybe a piece of cake. Yeah. Possibly. You know where the kitchen is? I do. Okay. Cake's made. <laughs> what are you doing? Working. What's she doing? Looks like you guys are watching something to me. What? No. 
We're doing stuff. Oh, me too. We love you. Love you. Might be in for some cake and tea. There might be. You're so good. Yeah. You look amazing today. Round two, folks, uh, front action sensors, two of them. Passing your side, had to take the plastic guard down in front, unhook those. Now we're gonna try again. Did you make that for me? Huh? Did you make this for me? Uh-huh. By request. By request? By... What? The cake? The goodness of your heart. Oh. So. Well, the only reason I said yes was because of the goodness of my heart. Oh. You could be a role model for women, you know that? <laughs> if only I could make cake and tea at home instead of at work every day. <laughs> well. Well, it is. At least I get to be with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> the time is over. Try this again. Get about time for a new hose. She's getting ready to blow. We need to peel the wheels. Because we need to unhook the ball joints and the tie rod ends. So I'll show you how to do one side and do the same thing on the other side. There we go. So spray everything down. Helps you feel good. Oh. Kind of smash that cotter pin over there. So we can beat our socket up on there. That cotter pin actually moved. It's unusual. Need a socket on. Wrong way, dude. Take that off. So you can give her a couple whacks with the air hammer. Get that busted loose. And it did. You can hear the change in tone. Now we have to unhook the sway bar link. Not to take the subframe out, but once we get the subframe down, we need to have it to transfer. So I'm just gonna unhook it here. If we can we'll grab the inside of it with a pair of vice grips. There's no flats on it for a wrench. Try to give it a good squeeze. Best we can. And we're gonna keep yeah, I, I didn't feel like a good grip. Felt like the jaws kind of tweaked on this thing. Yeah. You can time to replace these vice grips, they're getting a little loose. All right, we'll give it the old college try. We're gonna put a little heat on that first and foremost. So hopefully we can get her in one shot. I don't know. We have to hook tie rod in first. I don't know if we can get in here or not. Now let's get swivel socket. Slipping. We can grab her again. No sir. Get a different pair of vice grips. All right, round two.
clear. There she is, baby. All right, now we need to take off the tie rod end. I don't have my readers. <laughs> Let's just beat a 19 on there. There, how's that? I hope it's obvious to some folks that uh, when you're doing the ball joint, you know, don't smack on the threads if you intend to reuse it. We don't. Thunder's going on here. Spinning the whole dang stud. I ain't never seen that before. Usually these things peel off all the zippies at. I don't think it's spinning the stud. It would have would have wound up a little quicker. Like that. Cutter pin's all broke, sheared off. I mean, that's usually not a factor, just to be honest with you. Yeah, let's put some tension on it, folks. Yeah, usually they zip right off there, folks. Josh is just going to pry up on it with a pry bar. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not working. Just going to start them up on it. Oh, where's the nut one? I probably sent it flying. Maybe this one will work. I smashed it with the air hammer too. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not gonna work. Can you reach in further, Josh, all the way to the inner part of the controller maybe? There you go. As right. long as you don't slip, catch me in the face with I guess. Okay. Ready? Yep. There you go. That's good. Perfect. Well the tie rod's already loose. So that's good. Um, we're gonna take we don't even try to get the cotter pins out because you, you just be here forever. Um, we're just going to center punch it and drill it real quick. Hopefully, that usually works well. Kind of punch right in the middle there. Center it up in that hole. And we just run the drill through it. There it is, then you can pop it out. Usually we do that before we crack the tie rod loose, but in this case, the tie rod spun loose, which is kind of unusual. Here. Now, we'll pop the lower control arm off here. Let's pop it off the ball joint. Just kind of stick it to the side. And like I say, we took the uh, sway bar link loose because it's a lot easier to do here at eye level than it is, you know, rolling around on the ground. The best view you're going to get, folks, we're going to try to get the steering shaft off. Now that we're done fiddling with all that, see if we can't get up in here. Go with 12 mil, giving it a nugga dugga. Get on there. Look at that. Now you guys couldn't see crap. Gosh, I do a good job laying in Hollywood. So the bolt, this bolt, is out of the steering shaft. Little guy. Now let's see if we can use the air hammer. Gives that steering shaft a couple of ugly duggas. Very gingerly. We don't want to, don't want to destroy it. Uh, nope, you ain't getting in there with that, fellas. Get a longer one. 
Let's try this one. Where can we come from? Let's, ooh, maybe right through this hole. Not getting anywhere. Oh man, it's so, look at that. That's so close, I just can't touch it. I don't want to break anything on the rack. Let's try it. Oh man, it's so stinking close. Um, what about, I'm going to come here from the front. I think this baby's long. It's long and it's strong. We're about to get friction on. Well, before I pop that off all the way, I don't see a unique keyway on it. So that means we can put it on, not any old way, but we can have a little cockpit. We are gonna realign the car, but I'm gonna put a little paint mark on it. Let's see about getting these bolts loose. There's one, another one up in there. Find it. There's that one. So there's those two. Two just like it on the other side. Right in that aluminum mount. That is hooks over to the uh, transmission mount, if you will. Uh, what are these? 19 maybe? 19 there. Let's see if those bolts come loose. Probably some of the stuff we should have checked before we started the project Subaru. So that's good. We'll leave that loose. I'm going to go do the one on the other side. So that's good. Let's see, this one's for the control arm. We don't care about that. This is the one we care about. Well, ain't that just lovely? Must be living right, boys. We're living right. Or WD-40 is the greatest thing on earth, one or the other. See, are we missing something? I would have thought that would pop down a little bit just like it did. That side's loose, this side is not. I just don't want it to fall on our heads. All right, let's see if we can't get this side a little bit loose. You know, it's probably bar wheels. Can't be. We'll get a pry bar. side is loose. What's going on here little fella? The loosey goosey. We've got all the bolts out of here, right? Yeah, our engine mounts loose. There's just two bolts up here, right? Just two bolts up there. Our front one's quite loose, so we're stuck here on the rear. Stuck in the old rear. Maybe we didn't spray it. Maybe we need to put a little WD up in there. That stuff sucks. <laughs> we'll give her a little two to that. Give her some in there. Just kind of make a mess all over everything. Let's go get some earmuffs and give it a rattle with the air hammer and see if that loosens her up.
That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So I just had to give her a little massage there. Now she's ready to play. Let's see. That's all loosey goosey now. Just had a little, a little bit stuck. I think we're in good shape. Um, I don't know if me and my boy Josh are just gonna drop this thing down. Probably. Probably could stick the transmission jack right here under the middle and then warm its hold to the other end and then I think we'll be good. Alright, the front's loose. Steering shaft still kind of hanging a little bit there. Gotta give it a, a little bit of a massage. And there's what it looks like. And if our little support up there goes, the whole thing goes. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Send good juju. Uh, yeah, that's that. I guess we just put it on the ground. We transfer all the stuff over to the new one. And there's gonna be a lot of folks asking, you know, are you doing a new rack? Are you doing new bushings, new bolts, new everything? The answer is no, it's not my car. And I'm restricted by a budget. We have to try to stay within the means of the fellow's budget. And that's, we're gonna do our best to do that and respect his wishes there. And just keep on keeping on. So that's that folks, uh, in an effort to not make these videos run on for miles and miles, we're gonna call it quits after the removal, Project Subaru of subframe removal, we'll call it part one. Come back for part two. We're gonna do the transfer and then get that baby back up in. So stick around. Thanks for watching.